Hello everyone. Um, we are here once again, back uh, for another. Uh, I say back. What am I talking about? Another? That's my other show. <laughs> we are here on Retro Asylum. Very excited to show you the Nes. Snes, sorry, I think we call it the Snes. Don't know why. The Snes Mini or Snes Nintendo Classic Mini to give its full title. I have yet to open this box. I've had this since I bought it. Um, uh, well, at, at midnight last night, um, and uh, yes, yeah, very exciting. So, and I've kept it. <laughs> I've actually, uh, I've actually kept it uh, um, unopened for this purpose because I was going to stream it. Because that's the kind of guy I am. By the way, my name is Chris. Uh, I am a host on the Retro Asylum podcast. And uh, if you might recognise my voice. Um, and here I am. I will be playing on this, but first part of the stream is I'm going to uh, open this box up. But before I do, I'm just going to make everyone aware that we're streaming now. So I'm going to do a bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of uh, tweeting. But you, you can just stare at the box for a moment and marvel at it. So... Uh, That's that done now. So people should be aware, hopefully, that uh, I'm doing this. So, anyway, enough nonsense. This is the box. Um, and it's tiny. You can see my hands. I, w I want to show you something else. It's a scale. Right. I've actually got a uh, trusty uh, Stanley knife, just in case I might need uh, Mr. Stanley uh, to help me out with opening any bits of this unlikely though um but um what's what's awesome about this is a uh, it's a lovely little box and it's very kind of the same size as the nes mini actually it's highly surprising the difference the big difference between this and the nes mini is it comes with two controllers the nes mini only came in one and they had to buy the other one separately um i did actually do that i did actually buy a second controller with my nes mini uh and it sits underneath my living room uh television right now um Comes in 20 plus one. So what does the plus one actually mean? Um, the plus one, I understand it is uh, Star Fox 2, but you can only get Star Fox 2 provided you unlock it. You have to unlock it. The only way to unlock it is to finish the first level of Star Fox. I'm going to attempt to do that this evening. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm going to try and do that this evening. Um, the way I think that happening is moderate but um anyway one of the games we've got mario world donkey kong country f-zero secret mana Castlevania 4 which is rare as hen's teeth by the way um uh contra 3 uh ghouls and ghosts i think uh, earthbound super metroid just there final fantasy 3 star fox 1 of course uh, Mario RPG never came out in uh, it's interesting Mario RPG never came out in the UK uh, then we have Mario Kart of course why wouldn't it be the original no less some Kirby games which I'm not that familiar with Mega Man 10 actually Mega Man X I have I played a Mega Man game I don't know I don't know if I played a Mega Man game or not so I'm just going to bring my microphone just a little bit closer so you can hear me there you go. That's better. Now you can hear me properly. So, um, what was I doing? Yes, boxing and things. So there it is. Enough about the box. Let's open this thing. Uh, once and for all. So here we go. It's the first time I've ever done an unboxing, actually. I've never actually done it before. I've watched a few, but I've never actually done one myself. Um, so this is all. I'm doing a terrible job of it. Here we go. So it opens up like so. There's no... I didn't have to cut it open. Uh, I did buy this from like, my local game. I don't... When it comes to hardware, I tend to buy things in a store. I don't like ordering it online because it doesn't work. Things get missed. It just doesn't work. Um, so I always buy things uh, uh, in a store uh, when it comes to hardware. So, let's have a look inside. Slides out like so. Lovely. We will now put this away very carefully. There you go. Um, 
So you have the instruction manual. Uh, being a bloke, I probably won't read this. Because <laughs> that's, that's what you do. Um, anyway. Right. Um, this is obviously the manual. It tells you... It's in lots of different languages. And... Uh, yes. Interesting. Um, so it's only a couple of pages, actually, if that. One of the things about the, the NES or the, the, and the SNES Mini is they are powered from USB. And if they're powered from USB, uh, it means that you can actually plug it into your television set, which is quite, quite ingenious. Um, to plug it in USB into your television set, that is. So, so there it is. Um, uh, yes, I don't think I really need to read that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay. Also, you get some points because they make prizes. You can get, you can cash this in. I won't, uh, I won't reveal that on the screen, but you do get points, three hundred points apparently. Um, so, well, I think I will too late. I might have revealed that on the screen. So this is the NES Mini itself. Uh, Snares, can we call it a NES? Stop it, Chris. Stop it. Um, so let's slide this little fella out. Oh look, right there it is. Um, Yes, th there it is. Uh, right, just this works as a button. Oh, right. So you, this this is the working. It this does actually work as a reset button, and this does work as an on and off button. Oh, look at that! It's nice. This, however, doesn't work at all. This is no. This can't put any mini cartridges or anything like that. Um, it's just a thing. So, right, sorting things out. There you go. Um. But what else? So, there's the thing. If you notice on the front, it has these little ports. Uh, but, um, yeah, these these little ports are a bit silly, really, uh, because although it looks like they're the real ports, they're not. Uh, if you, as you pull that open like that, you then see the actual joystick ports. Um, so you can see they look like the ones from the Wii, if you remember. Uh, and I'll show you how that works in a second. So that's how that's that's the that's the uh, mini itself, the SNES mini, which will be will be powering on later on. What else do we get? We also get oh no no not yet not not doing that yet. Let's do the boring stuff first. Move that out of the way. Um, let's get to the bottom. Now in the UK uh, and I think in Japan as well, there is no power supply of any kind. All you get is a uh, a USB um, cable, like so, nothing particularly interesting, and an HDMI cable, which we'll be using presently. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to move this out of the way and put these put these away. It's over there. So it looks like I don't need my standing life for any of this, which is lovely. Um, so let's uh, open this up. So the moment of truth. This is. Um, and also, you probably spotted it already. I do have a SNES console just sitting here. <laughs> I will be comparing like for like in a moment. <laughs> so you, how much, how much, how much difference it is? Because I do have two SNESs actually. I don't know why I have two, but I do have two SNESs. Um, let's have a look. So, oh, it's got a bit of a rough sort of texture to it. Um, interesting. Yeah, a bit of a rough texture to it. Not sure what it's about. Yeah, odd. Okay, that's the thing. Not like the original SNES controllers, which I'll show in a minute. But other than that, it's pretty much the same, but the texture's a bit interesting. We'll be using this controller in my when I do my streaming, which will be well, streaming with the games, that is. Why did Nintendo don't shut me down for doing that? They might do. Uh, it's not interesting, is it? Okay. So, what you do is, just say how it works. You just basically pop this open. Got that there. Pop this open, and then you slide the controller. That's controller one on the left-hand side, and there it is. That's all. 
plugged in, ready to go. So I'm going to just put this to the side. So I'm not going to bust out the second controller. Um, there we go. That's that's what it looks like, really, when it all set up, apart from the HDMI, which I'll do later. But how does this compare to the original? Um, well, here is the an original SNES. It's a bit dusty. I need to clean up a bit. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I should have done that earlier, but there it is. This is the original SNES, and uh, the, as you can see, this this the mini um, SNES, and then it is you know, it definitely is mini. It's probably a quarter of the size of the original. Um, but yeah, there it is, and uh, we can pop it on top just to emphasize the difference. I mean, look at it. Look, it's teeny, teeny tiny. Um, but there it is. Okay. So, um, and there's the controller. Now let's compare. This is an original. What well, I've got here on the side is an original SNES controller. And just looking at it, comparing like for like, they are exactly the same as you'd expect. Pretty much, pretty, uh, form factor, everything is exactly, it's exactly the same. Um, but yeah, this is this is my original here and this is this is the new one and all I can say is there's a slight texture on this one versus this one this is pretty smooth this has got like a rough texture to it and this has got a smooth uh, and also what kind of and also the left and right buttons they're just embossed oh now I'll just show you that so the left and right on this on the original has actually got um, some markings on it. you can see them whereas this is just the, the one I'm holding uh, I'm shaking <laughs> this one here as you can see this is the new one and uh, got no embossing it's just going embossed it's not got anything so but anyway uh, there it is I think it makes more sense I guess uh, you can feel which ones you are but you know left and right whatever so this is the original this is my original snares I'm going to put that to the side um, so that's that's pretty much it that's the experience of getting it out of the box um it doesn't come with a power supply. I will be powering it using my PC here, uh, which I'm sitting using to stream this. This is sitting over to my left as I'm talking to you. Um, but what I'm going to do is now I'm going to stop the stream just a little bit. I know you want to carry on. I'm sorry, everyone, but we must continue. Uh, and I'm going to stop the stream, and I'm going to now um, jump into... Um, playing uh on on the snes and uh, uh the snes mini and enjoying it for, for what it is so uh so we, should we do that now because i think we've seen enough i think we see how it all works and how it all fits together i mean there are a couple of things on the back and the hdmi and the power it's not particularly exciting but that's all it's got really uh when you compare that to uh the back of a, an original snes i mean that's got little that's got you know that's got the uh the rf out and uh, the or, or the uh, power, uh, oh no, sorry, power RF out and then video out. Um, so yeah, let's let's do this. Let's. Uh, oh, we'll be right back um, with um, me playing when streaming on on the snares. And I promise I won't start any games until I'm streaming. I promise. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm back. Oh God, I'm back. Yes. Hi everyone. I have returned. Um, this time, <laughs> it's up and running. Didn't take a few seconds. Didn't take a few seconds. It was awesome. And look how crisp and clean the screen is. I hope you can. I hope you can see it. Um, and I'm gonna sort of do a bit of, a bit of, bit of, you know, just, just, just a um, bit of, bit of texting, maybe. Um, I shouldn't do it. It's very unprofessional, but um, tweet my channel. Very quickly. There you go. No, oh, yes, the live. Oh, sorry. Anyway, things. Um. Go, go, go. So yeah, here's the uh, opening screen. This is what happens 
where you fire up your mini snares. This happens. So I'm not going to do it in, in, in French. Could be funny, but I won't. I'm going to do it. And of course the snares controller is exactly the same as any other Nintendo controller where select or A is on the far, far right. Oh wow. Look at all this. So it starts off with saying that we've got Contra 3. A game I'm not familiar with at all. But um, I need to get Donkey Kong Country, a game I am familiar with but profoundly bad at. Uh, Earthbound. Excellent RPG apparently. F Zero, a game I've played a lot. Final Fantasy 3. I don't think I've played Final Fantasy 3. Hmm. Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Course, Mega Man X. Secret of Mana. It's a tricky one, this, because that's going to be released on the PS4 soon. Star Fox. Star Fox 2, which apparently you can't play until you do the first, first level. So I noticed he's, um, he's, he's playing up today. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo? Hmm. Cosmo 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, right. It's America. Mm -hmm. Super Metroid. Punch Out. So a link to the past. Yoshi's Island, which is a game I haven't played a lot of, so my nose is a bit off. I'm sneezing it. Hmm. Okay. So that's all the games, I think. Uh, they're an amazing selection. I mean, honestly, this is, if you had this back in the day, you'd be made up. It's probably worth thousands of pounds as well back in the day. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gone full circle. It's, uh, it's going to the settings. Oh dear. Um, so you do 4x3. Uh, CRT filter. I like the frame. Oh, curse this nose of mine. So sorry, everyone. But, uh, someone come on to me today. I'm sort of sneezing over place. Um. We won't put any filters on yet. We'll just leave as it is. So, it has the manuals, of course. Oh, what? So you have to scan it, the manuals. It doesn't have the manuals at all. I'll take it back. You need to go and scan it on your phone. That's just rubbish. Oh, well. What should we try first? Hmm. We need a sport for choice. Should we? Hmm. I'm tempted to do Star Fox first, you know. I really am tempted to do that first. But instead... Oh, 
I'm gonna go for this one. Don't know why. Never played a Kirby game on the SNES before. Kirby's Dream Course. Yes, that's right. I've gone with this one. Sorry, everyone. Play game. I have no idea what I'm doing with this game. And I would have liked to have a manual, but don't have manuals. Oh, God. Um... What is this? Just draw a crazy thing. I don't care! That'll do! Like, Kirby games are meant to be really, really easy. So, okay. Because they were designed for a casual audience. So. I've no idea what I'm doing. Let's see how this goes. What what is this? Oh god. It's the first game on the stairs and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna select that. Hole in one. I'll oh, see. It's a golf game! Fine. Generally, it's a golf game, everyone. I'm sorry, I'm playing a golf Kirby game. Who'd have thunk it? Too hard. I hit it too hard. I knew it. He's not, he's not impressed. Kirby's not impressed. I'm not impressed either. Still too hard. Yeah, and I exploded. Oh dear. Okay, so I lost a life. Let's see if I can do this. I can do this. I can bleed me. Ha! It's... <laughs> um, it does look really glorious though, doesn't it? It's got to be said. Finally! Hey, it took me eight shots. It's embarrassing. Then again, I generally don't know what I'm doing, so. But yeah, so it's a little golf game for Kirby. Excellent. <sighs> right. Let's see if I can do this little better this time. Hmm. I wonder what the arrow does. I wonder if it sort of sends me over to. Let's try it. It does! It does. I have discovered secrets.
No! Come on, you can do this. Damn it. Yeah, sorry Kobe, I let you down. I completely let you down. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, Kirby, you great lump! Damn it, too hard! This again? This again? Oh. There you go, five shots. A little bit embarrassing. Actually, no, I don't need to rebound it off anything, do I? Just need to hit it. Go on, do it, do it, do it! What are you disappointed about? Oh, it's just... It's just just demanding, isn't he? <laughs> you miserable rotter. You think you're smart. You think you're smart, don't you, really? And he lost a life. It's most disappointing. Mm. No, oh. I'm just not impressed with myself at all, but... Uh, we got... Uh, all the Atreides on on the chat, and he's saying that uh, okay, maybe the Game Boy version is better. Um, is there a Game Boy version? I can assume that there is one. So can't believe it's the first game we're playing. But it is warp. Let's see how this works. So I'm warping somewhere. Ow! I got hurts. Come on. No. Oh, come on. I, I don't get this. Don't get it at all. That's the best hole I've ever done, only four shots. It's got to be said. I mean, come on. Uh, by the way, control is very responsive. I haven't got any problems with it at all. Perfectly fine, in case you're wondering. So how am I supposed to get up there then? Is 
strange, isn't it? Is that a special power I don't know about? Hmm. Hmm. Let's put some side on it. Yes! I found out if you press B while he's rolling about, he can jump, but it's game over everyone. And I'm going to hit the reset button. So it gets me back to the menu. So I'm very disappointed about lack of manuals, so I've got to be saying this. It's it's not good. I think they had enough of Kirby for one day. Should we try and make a man X for a bit? Why not? Why not indeed? I mean, these games are notoriously hard. I get that. Hmm. Nice intro section. Oh no. Very dark tail. Very dark tail. Sounds a bit doom like, doesn't it? Oh, right, so there's the key config uh, Y is shoot, B is jump, A is dash. Okay, hopefully, I remember that. Okay, let's see how badly I'll do at this. This is going to be very embarrassing. Wow, this thing's really tough. Ow. It looks amazing though, it's gotta be said. I do say that, it's gotta be said. It does the game does look amazing, the overall colours. Wow.
strange boss. Uh, can't get over there. No, unfortunate. If I can, I just know what I'm doing. No! Didn't know you could get crushed like that. I do it again. You can't dash. Look, hit an A button. Nothing's happening. Look. Oh well. What do I know? And I fall to my death. I know this game's hard, but bloody hell. I see this is cuphead levels of incompetence here. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm embarrassing my uh, my profession right here. And you can't duck at all. I'll just ignore those, probably best. I needed some health right now. Ow! This 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 one Don't get underneath it, yeah, there you go. Right, I've never been this far before. Rather embarrassing, never mind. Checkpoint, like, oh, what is this?
I don't know what that was. I'm gonna do a super shot on this thing, but it's a bad idea. That was a waste of time, isn't it? Because those weren't there before. I think the game's changing difficulty depending on what I do. I'm not impressed by that game. Don't do that. I think it's changing difficulty. I think it generally is. Really well animated. Love this thing. Damn it! Not, I mean, I know it's a hard game, but. Oh. Getting further. Ow! Oh, for God's sake! Oops. 
better if you could drive the car, really, wouldn't it? Whoa, what's that? Damn! Get this one is getting interesting. I don't know what this is. Is this a code I'm gonna put in? Three, four, three, six, and you just write it down. Yeah. I had enough of Mega Man X for a bit. You can do save states. I mean, you could do a save there, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, we might do that later on. I should have done that earlier on with that game when I got further, but. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Uh, we've done a lot of platformy, shooty, shooty, bang, bang stuff, haven't we? Uh, should we try? We'll be doing Star Fox very soon. Very, very soon, I suspect. Let's embarrass myself with F Zero. Oh, get a rival car, okay. Oh, I've got him. Four laps left of this. We've all got a bit more exciting than this. Well. It's very smooth, doesn't seem to be any uh, problems with the emulation as far as I can see. There's been lots of people chatting about it on the internet, but uh, I think it's fine. So I think the uh, A button is a boost button. It's been years and years since I played F Zero, so forgive my ineptitude. Funny story. First game I ever played on a SNES was indeed Mario Kart. Of course I won. Um, yeah, Mario Kart. We will be playing that later on. We will be playing it later on. But I'm going to do a couple of sort of championship modes. Yeah. I've got best lap. So let's do some uh, Grand Prix. Why not?
do not need a beginner level. Because I am terrible at video games. It's so good. This is more my speed. Oh, I don't need the boosts. I have to earn them. Power's good, I don't have to recharge. This is one of the more sedate tracks I've got. I think I'm about to lap someone. Yep, I just did. But it does a good job of teaching you the basics of the game. You just get worse, it gets more and more difficult as time goes on. It's good. Three laps left, oh dear. I've got all three boosts on now, as long as um, Final lap. Sure it'll get much more challenging than this. But hey, I'm getting it. And you can see how fluid it is and how well it's doing. F-Zero is a classic, it's great on the GameCube as well as it is on the uh, N64. Sadly never arrived on the Wii, but it did arrive on... No, it never arrived on the Wii, it did arrive on the Game Boy Advance, seems to remember. But uh, yeah, I destroyed that really. So. Oh, damn it. This is one I'm not familiar with, the track that is, so it's going to end in tears, probably. Liking the tunes, by the way. I'm liking the tunes. I've forgotten how good they were. It's good stuff. I think out of the games I've played so far, this is probably my favourite. This is highly surprising considering it is F Zero. I need to get some power. Trying to get that racing line like it exists in F Zero. I think it does. I see slidey bit.
one boost. Do it now, I think. Just, just almost screwed up there. Yeah, enjoying this. Apparently, I'm getting getting orders from uh, up on high. If you're watching this uh, little stream uh, on Twitch, first of all, thank you. Hello. Second of all, uh, I am a host of the podcast called The Retro Asylum, and it's got 170 episodes released. Amazingly. I know, shock horror. Uh, and the last episode this was released this week is about emulators, which is very prudent because, well, uh, prudent? Prudent? Appropriate. Well, topical because the SNES Mini is an emulator. Sorry, but it is. It's an emulator on, on a chip. I think you can do some skidding around corners. I should do that. Yeah, this, this track's a bit of a pig. Yeah, so go to Retro Asylum. Look up the Retro Asylum on uh, iTunes or any other podcast capturing you have. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. It's a really good episode this week. Uh, we've done some amazing shows over the last few years, five years now, if you've been going. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep continuing to deliver content to you. Like this. Made that corner finally. So these are races. I thought they were. They're not. They're just drones. They're just not part of the race at all. It's not fun. They're just obstacles in the way of the race. Not impressed, yellow drone people. So there's no way to carry on. I want to know why it's flashing, that's why I did it. That wasn't enough. I'm not going to survive this. I'm going to explode. I'm going to have did not finish. I'm in critical levels now. Very critical levels. Very, very critical levels. There we go. Let's try again. We can do this. I can. I believe in me. I'm actually experimenting with controls. Damn, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it.
Can't get past this dude. To do it, I had to boost. No, I actually do actually stream on another channel or some, uh, called Spong Vault where I do um, every Sunday night, I stream a game of randomness on a random platform uh, and uh, what I found is doing those streams is um, the longer I play these games and it sounds really obvious I know but I get much better at them and uh, this is no, ex no exception uh, definitely getting better at this tangible progress right flashy dude must not get anywhere near him because if I do, I explode as like I did last time. Ah! No! Shuttle buttons have uh, started, um, I've noticed both left and right are used. I'm not going to blow up again, am I? No, I'm not. Whew! I was on the brink of exploding, but I managed to get through it. Death Wind One. Damn. Ow. That wasn't fair! I'm not doing so great on this race. This drone car is very annoying. Here's the flashy one. I'm gonna hit! Of course I hit it!
fourth, I lost. Damn. I'm going to try again. I want, to, I want to win this race. I could do better, I know. I'm not detecting any lag in the controls, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. Or anything like that. It's completely smooth. You must hit those head on, otherwise, you will go into the side. No. See, they hit them head on, I can't hit them head on. That's not fair. I can't hit him at all, it's not fair. You don't hit those chevrons on this track. You're absolutely screwed. I missed that one. It's going to come right behind me. Ah! Did it! Did it! The victory is mine. Ah! Silence. It's just called silence. Oh, you don't have to time it at all. Just go. Okay. This one's pretty vicious. I'm not going to survive this. I'm going to blow up! As I said, I'm going to blow up! Let's try again. I'm enjoying this far too much. I knew I would. F-Zero.
It's cool as a tricky. There's no good time. Tough track. Ugh. I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit save. So I'm going to go back to that. And also, I'm going to do is just for shits and giggles. Sorry, poops and giggles. Let me show. Uh, <laughs> is. Burning reduction? Uh, sorry, display, display, display. Oh, damn it, with you bloody. Right, so let's do. This all looks like with this on. What those frames have they got? Oh, I like the wood panel effect. Um, okay, so I'm going to play again, this time with the wood panel effect and the CRT screen filter. I think I prefer this, this this filtering. It is more genuine. No, it didn't work.
<laughs> jumped out of the track. I didn't know you could do that. All right, let's go back to the games. Let's go back to the games. So I'm getting, you know, I'm taking the poo really. There was nothing with that. Donkey Kong Country. Let's do it. They're not gonna, they're not gonna go after this because this game is notoriously difficult. I'm gonna play um, Star Fox. One, complete the first level. That's what I need to do. This is way ahead of its time. The graphics were amazing. Um, if you can see, they are, they are pretty cool. Living ears. Oh, what's going on now? This is so hard. <laughs> but it looks nothing like a SNES game. game and I didn't jump so then I died so then I had to jump I'm sorry but, oh god I still got the um, filter on at the moment so that's fine whoa what was that All of the bananas and the balloons. I got. A, I got. A, that's a new life, apparently. Right. I did not. Still tough as nails, but yeah. Is this a good game? Is this a good game? I don't know. It's meant to be one of the best ones. Damn it. Gotta keep flowing. <gasps> Missed the rope. I, I think for a SNES, this game does look freaking amazing. It looks like almost a PC game, like in its later era. I mean, how they did this, I don't know. Incredible wizardry. No! 
It's, it's difficult to see. Yeah. The, the, sort of like the collision detection's a bit ropey. No pun intended. Great. Cheap deaths! That's what I hate about this game. That was it. The cheap deaths. Oh. Like that. No, I'm gonna keep going. No, 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 you're not, not getting away that easily. Here's me trying to be just a little bit careful and I get punished like that. I'm going to keep going until I die. It's just... Why did I jump again? Oh. Did it again. Yes. Yes, that game is over. And we're not returning to it. Anytime freaking soon. Right. Let's see what else we've got on here. Star Fox. Let's do barrel rolls. Come on, let's do it. I've been putting it off for far too long by half. So this game is very special, it had a special chip in it because it's Star Fox and it had, you know, these vector graphics which the SNES couldn't do, apparently, these 3D graphics. And uh, here we are, the very first Star Fox. There's many Star Fox games since. The last one on the Wii U is very bad, apparently. Uh, it's just sad. This came out in 1993, so it's 24 years old. So, the shoulder buttons are wrong. Uh, we've got boost, Nova Bomb, Break, Blaster. Break is here, Nova Bomb. 
Change the views there and up and down. Okay. Let's do training. You have to do training. You have to know how to do a barrel roll. Oh look, I've got to fly through rings. That one. Great. Stain formation, hang on. Let me do that, oh, okay. Yeah, what's with me today? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh dear. Fly through rings. Missed it. Missed it. How are you supposed to do this? I'm just gonna go. I don't think the game requires me to fly through, but the barrel rolling is to just do. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it. 
Oh, I should have picked that up. I was talking to someone on Twitter about this game, and they're saying how the frame rate is a bit ropey. Yeah, it's not good. Coming enemy, are it? It's got voice in this game. I had no idea. What I'm hitting here, or what I should be hitting. Okay, one bit of the side of it's gone. It's definitely a boss of some description. Says the man who's never played Star Fox. Well, that's not true, I have, but not at this length. Been falling off. He's not happy. Ow. Disaster. Sorry everyone, my ineptitude knows no bounds. There's no point shooting at him yet. Yeah, I, 
I do get Mr. Biffo's point about lack of frame rate on this game. Ow, that hurt. Got him! I am victorious! Shoot at your teammates, Chris. Not a good idea. So that's the asteroids. Go destroy the rock crushers, apparently. So this goes into like a cockpit view. Um, we go for the shield thing and no fair. Get lost, you fiend. What? I thought my shield is fine. I must have hit a uh, mine or something.
can still do a bar roll even when in the cockpit view. This reminds me a little bit of Wing Commander, this bit actually. There's a lot of mine stuff in Wing Commander as well. It's very cool. Guy coming in. I'm not hurting it at all. I what this thing is. Here we go. Who's opens this weapons port up any second now? Got that weapons platform now. Go on, both. Now I should thing in the middle. Ow. Ow. No. It's this close. Not fair. Oh, game over as well. And Strange Monkey Man has won the game, apparently. It's sad. Should we come back to that? Yeah, let's come back to that. Uh, so... All right, I thought we had to complete level one of Star Fox, but no, I have unlocked it. If I've unlocked Star Fox 2, I need to play Star Fox 2. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I promised. So here I am. So here it is, the game that was never was, was never released because of the cursed N64. Evil dragon thing. We'll have it on normal, I think.
Ooh, I didn't mean to skip that. Oh, you have different wingmen. That's so cool. Wow. So it's a little bit more advanced than the. Oh, wow, look at this. Short and sweet. Wow. Blew up the power core in the carrier. 
Wow. Let's do another carrier, shall we? Another carrier down. It's uh, it's certainly much more complicated than the old game. Um, I think there's a lot more, lot more going on. There's even some textures and stuff. It's quite impressive. What have we got to lose? Took out the dragon, but those missiles are still coming. Where are those missiles coming from?
I'm not doing so great. Yeah, my ship's damaged. There's bits flying off of it. Let's do some um, planet destruction. We've got to take down a barrier, apparently. Three of them. Go inside there. So actually stood on it to open the door. Excellent. Kidding me. <laughs> Blow up the central core thing, whatever that is. So, this is it Star Fox 2, the game everyone's getting very excited about. On the, on the on the SNES Mini, it's quite good. It's quite good.
Oh, it's a bit of a tunnel section here. Shit. That I didn't really succeed in. Well, I killed it because I ran into it. I think we should take this head on now. We can't. So he does all the barrel roll stuff. So when he comes at you...
He's close to death. Come on, piggy. You may be a pig in space. I like the me nebulas and stuff in the background. I mean, it's much more... Yes, there's much more going on here. Yay! I did it! I'm afraid. New barrels, just as much as you can. I can kill the wolf. He's getting really pissed off now. No one makes some mistakes when you get pissed off. Ow. Just like I did. No fair! Good. I'm about to blow up, as is he. I got him first! Victory is mine! Straight into the heart of the beast. Here it is.
Oh. The coin thing. I need to get the coin. No idea what it's for. It made me feel better. Okay. Oh, nice. Special seals. This, you know, me one thing. I've got a big boss fight coming up. Trying to figure out how to open the door, everyone. That's what I'm frowning about. Hmm. No, it's not that. I haven't got a nose. This is what's going on. This is 
very promising. I'm shooting a mask. What's going on? Go, Star Fox, go! That's all right, just gotta believe. I love how my ship still damages a fly back. That's very cool. Star Fox. Morph glider access granted. I just finished, I think. No. But I did just play through it. You saw me do it. I just played Star Fox 2 to the end. It's a bit of an empty climax, really, but... There it is. Star Fox 2. Dylan Cuthbert. There he is. The man himself. Um, so just talk about, about the hardware and stuff and it, it does work exceptionally well as you can see I'm just sitting here playing it and playing I'm insane much apologies for that I've uh, been really engrossed in the games and uh, controls really good emulation is really really good um, yeah all in all I'm very 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 impressed no regrets at all I'm, I'm happy to own one I think we're going to sign off um, with some Mario Kart. So, yes, uh, 
I can't believe I finished this. Uh, I genuinely did. Um, shocked, really. But uh, as you can see, the video output is, is awesome. It's just all, it's all good. Um, I'm very happy that it uh, this all turned out so well. And we we at Retro Asylum, when we first heard about the mini snares, we said, right, we've got to stream it, got to stream it, got to stream it. And here we are doing that very thing. So I um, hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Um, so what I'm going to do now is the end. I just I just finished Star Force Two. I just I just finished it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get that. I I unlocked it after playing Star Fox One, which I struggled with. And then I played Star Fox 2 and had a way better time. So, well done Dylan and his, his cohorts. Uh, we have to do Mario Kart. Oh, let me shiver. Have to do Mario Kart. Not up for debate. Although before I do that, I need to just do some... I'm going to do Pixel Perfect. So it's, this is no filtering, no nothing, just pixel after pixel crisp. America. Now, this is the very first game I've ever played on the stairs. It was an American snare, so I remember seeing this ugly box thing. I thought, what the hell's that? But, uh... Now... Yes, this is okay. Toad! It's always Toad! Anybody else who chooses something else? Uh, what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's Toad! Toad. <laughs> Sorry. I think we've got it now. I am number one. Of course I am. Because I'm playing Toad. Blue shells incoming. Or did they have blue shells in this version? They didn't, did they? You can't hold things behind you. Final lap. I saw people watching this going, what an idiot. He's the worst Mario Kart player I've ever seen in my life. Yes, you are correct. I am very bad at this game. But hey! I'm playing Toad, and I'm doing 50cc. Bound to win. Come on, Toad. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do the thing.
this. We can do this. You can win the cup. Or original Mario Kart, which I don't think you've ever done. So I didn't. I don't play the original very much. I mainly play deluxe now. Because it's amazing. I don't know what the little toadstool is, but I'm trying not to hit it. I think it's a trap of some sort. I know nothing about Mario Kart, the original. Now, do I like the Pixel Perfect um, version of the uh, visuals? No. I mean, it's just, it's all blurred. There it is. Number one. Retro Spot. Thanks for coming on the chat room. I got a mini SNES Mini today. It arrived in the post. Good for you. Uh, I did. Uh, I went to my local game. Uh, my local game store. My friendly local game store. FLGS. And uh, they were open at midnight last night. Or this morning. Depends on your point of view. Because of FIFA 18. I have... No interest in FIFA 18. However, I'd have a great deal of interest in the SNES Mini. Hence me streaming it for the last couple of hours. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've been going for almost three hours now, which is a record for me. Oh, you're away on holiday until Monday. So you're going away now? Okay. Uh, well, hopefully you can enjoy this stream so you can watch me play various games on it. Uh... I've played a whole bunch of them. I've only scratched the surface. Although I am proud to say I've finished Star Fox 2. <laughs> I just finished it. Right here on this stream. Uh, so clearly it's not particularly challenging. But, uh, yeah. So let's, let's continue. Let's continue. So yeah, I went to a local game at midnight and picked it up. I've got it at 10 past midnight. Didn't get a boost. What's really interesting is as I play other Mario Karts, I do get better and better at this one. I mean, I've never been as good at this, of the original, than looking at now. Honestly, I am i am just terrible. Um, and I am pretty bad. You can, you can see I'm not doing proper racing lines. I'm not, not doing the, I mean, I'm, you know, doing proper jumps. Almost, almost. Left the side there. What you need the gold coins for? Gotta love Toad. He's always the easiest to drive. He had the best handling. He always had the best handling. Gotta love Toad. So Retro Spots are saying that uh, we are spoiled with analog stick these days with Mario Kart. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, it's uh, it's way harder to play Mario Kart with the D-pad. Um, so. Ah, uh, it might be might be my nemesis.
Those um, face things are pretty scary. I know they're from uh, Super Mario, which I don't have a lot of experience in. I love the Mario games, I really do, but I've never finished one. Uh, I tried to finish the first Mario pretty recently. Never quite got it. Be gone, foul woman. Foul woman being Princess Peach. Sorry, everyone. I will be victorious. So much better at this game. I can't, I can't explain this. I used to be so bad, but really, really bad. Um, clearly, I'm not as bad as I thought I was anymore because of years and better getting better at games. Um, and it's America. What are you gonna do? I think I have an unassailable lead. One more to go. I mean, when they released... This is a game they had to have on there. There would have been riots of the streets, pitchforks, the works. Gone. No. I got flattened. I'm seventh. Oh, that is this will not do. This will not stand. Don't you know who I am? Toad! This is disaster. Humiliation. So when toads eat a mushroom, is he like sort of committing cannibalism or something? There she is, my nemesis. Damn it, I missed her. Still in mind. Victory! Go for it, Toad. You celebrate all you like. You deserve it. So I'm marvelling at the fact that all of this entertainment is coming out of a machine that is the size of my hand. In fact, it's half the size of my hand. It's tiny. And yet, all of this entertainment is on it. Incredible. Victory is my go for it, Toad. Look, he's getting drunk on champagne. They just threw a bucket on his head, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. 
Number one. Of course, wins the gold. He's just, he's won. He is victorious. I'm gonna. Gosh, I've never seen this screen. <laughs> never seen this screen. Uh, obviously, I've got Bell of America because of the, you know I've been playing it on the on the Switch. What the hell? Uh, so do you unlock 150? I'm just gonna try it. I'm probably asking for trouble for doing this. I shouldn't do it this way. This is gonna be a very, very bad idea. Because it gets really hairy. What is it with this woman? I missed her again. This woman is the bane of my game. Be gone. There. <laughs> you want to notice that I haven't touched any of the RPGs. There's a reason for that. They're too long. You know, it's just, you could end up diving into them and playing them and... Try to stop. I mean, it's just, just too much. So I'm not playing the RPGs. I mean, could fire one up, I guess, maybe. But it all does work, clearly. I mean, and also, I'm, I'm happy about the fact that my little Nez, Snez, I should say, as lovely as it is, is being powered by my PC. Which is a bit peculiar. There it is. My big PC here it's is streaming and recording this video as you watch it now. Mm-hmm. We know this track. Oh, it's the other way around there. I don't think I hit that in time. Woman! Foul beast that she is. My bane. I think I met my match in this track and Oh, don't lap me, woman. No, please. Really? Oh, that's just embarrassing. This, this, yeah, give up. 
I think we call it a night there. <laughs> I'm shattered. This has been awesome. Um, I am very, very happy. Um, oh, look, it's just crashed. No, it isn't. Uh, <laughs> thought I had crashed then. Um, my only gripe is really pretty much this. Um, basically, what's this? What is this? You know, that's just rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been been fantastic. I really, really enjoyed streaming this and, and playing these games. Uh, if you haven't got one, or if you're looking to get one, I would highly, highly recommend it. They are, it is excellent. Wonderful selection of games. Some better than others. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back with another video, another stream. Very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.